what are the etiquettes of those who should be on social media here I would like to mention very briefly what five five etiquettes so that we can take away important practical applications in our lives number one of great importance is what is recognize that there is nothing and as far as our presence on TikTok or other means except that we will be held accountable for yes that waqifuhum innahum mas'ulun there is no exception for online and as far as our presence our conduct there we have to answer to Allah on the day of Qiyamah yes and be wary of what of conducting yourself in an inappropriate way how would you feel when the Imam of the time would tell you why did you do this yes number one number two scrutinize your intention why am I doing what I'm doing what is the reason why am I posting this video why ask yourself continuously ask others to ask you remind yourself why am I doing what I'm doing what is the objective what is the motive what am I seeking to achieve? Clearly, clearly an important point in our lives. Number three, imagine you post Allah, this video of dancing or retweet it on music that's haram. You think it stops there as far as one sin? You're mistaken. The more that it's shared by people, the more sins you get. What devastation. Yes? If it's shared one million times, at least one million sins. You want to take that responsibility? You want to be the source for the sins to fall continuously on you? Ajib, why would we want to do that? That's the third important recommendation or observation when it comes to those on social media, especially this particular platform. Number four, beware of addiction and mental health issues. It will drive you towards what? Towards losing focus on anything else but keeping attention on this. You will not be able to focus on your life, on your ibadah, on your responsibilities. All you worry about is how many people responded, how many people commented, how many friends do I have. You begin to live in the cyber world, not in the real world. And number five, understand that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has entrusted us with time. This is a delicate subject. Because some people think that I can spend hours and hours daily on social media... And you know, who cares? But this time, every minute, we have to answer to Allah. How did we utilize it? How did we benefit from it? Yes? In which capacity did we become better when it comes to our time? This time doesn't belong to us. Allah Taala swears by it. Wal-Asr. إِنَّ الْإِنسَانَ لَفِي خُسْرُ إِلَّا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ The recognition is, the Quran says, يَا أَيُّهَا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا لَا تُلْهِكُمْ أَمْوَالُكُمْ وَلَا أَوْلَادُكُمْ عَنْ ذِكْرِ اللَّهِ O believers, there are those that are known as distraction tools. They will distract you from the remembrance of Allah. The Quran says, they are your wealth and your children. And these are? Social media is demonstration from this. It's an extension from this, isn't it? Be wary not to what lose time and give it out freely for what? For certain mechanisms. Yes, if you're spending hours designing a poster or a website or trying to help spread the message, no doubt. You can say on the day of Qiyamah, this was for a good purpose. But recognize, shaitan also sometimes comes through good purposes and makes you what? Lose time and lose focus when it comes to your other tasks.